Hello, this is Adrian from Highlands College. Today I'm going to make a Victoria sponge for you today. We're going to use equal quantities of butter or margarine, so it's 175 grams. Sugar, again ideally caster sugar, but you can use granulated. We're going to beat that up, we're going to cream it together so it's nice and pale. We've got 175 grams of self-raising flour and we've got one teaspoon of baking powder and three eggs which I've beaten up. So, I'm going to start off by creaming my butter or my margarine, whatever you've got, and my sugar. And we're just going to keep mixing this until it goes nice and pale. It doesn't take long. So, there we go, it's starting to come together. The more you beat it, the lighter it is in texture, it's going to give you a lighter and smoother cake. If you're using margarine, it doesn't take long. You can already see it's starting to change colour and texture, it's getting a little bit softer. And that's it, that's as quick as it can be. So I've got my butter and my sugar in there. I've got self-raising flour and one teaspoon of baking powder. And I've got three eggs, which I've cracked into a jug and whisked. I'm just gonna pop, pop them together. When the flour goes in, we're not going to over mix it. We're just going to bring it together slightly. I'm going to pop my egg in. That's three large eggs. This much mix will give you a good sized tin. I'm using a 20, 20 centimetre cake tin. I've just lined it with a little bit of parchment paper and I've just oiled around the sides so it doesn't stick. So again, we're just going to bring it together. So there's no lumps of sugar in there, there's no lumps of fat or egg. It's all come together nice and smooth. Going to pour it into my 20 centimetre tin. So straight in. And all I'm going to do very, very quickly is just give it a little tap make sure there's no air bubbles in the bottom. And that will smooth down a little bit more when it bakes. And that's going to go into the oven now. Um, I'm going to put it in my oven, which is a fan oven, uh, at 160 degrees for around 25 to 30 minutes. I'm going to check it quite regularly and I'll show you how to check it when it comes out. So a very quick summary of what we've done. We got one cake tin around 18 to 20 centimetres uh, wide. Uh, we greased it up, we lined the bottom with a little bit of parchment paper. We got the butter and we got the sugar and we creamed them together so they were nice and pale. We added the self-raising flour which we added the baking powder to. We started stirring together, then we added the eggs. Um, I used three large eggs, uh, beaten up. Then I just brought it together, not to overwork the mix. Then I popped it into the tin, flattened it off ever so gently, just give it a little tap to make sure there's no air bubbles in. I popped it into my preheated oven, which was around 160 degrees. Um, I was using a fan oven. If you're not using a fan oven, you can go a little bit higher and you can go 180. Um, 
and I cook for around 20 to 25 minutes depending on your oven uh, where you put it in the oven um, just it's going to depend how long it takes to cook but mine took around 25 to 26 minutes um, it's just come out of the oven now and there's a really easy way of being able to check if it's cooked and it's just in the oven just pop a little skewer in just at the side like that then just press down a little bit then lift it out it will come out really clean it will it may come out a little bit wet but that will just be the fat content so that's that shows me the cake's really nicely cooked um it started shrinking from the sides so i'm gonna leave it another about two two to three minutes and it's just gonna cool down in the tin just contract slightly then I'm gonna turn it out and let it completely cool on a wire rack. So my Victoria sponge has now completely cooled. Um, I've just had it upside down. I'm gonna remove the baking parchment carefully. And all I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna finish it a little bit different to the traditional um, method of finishing it, where it would just be a real high quality jam inside then sugar on the top. I'm going to fill mine with some whipped cream. I've just sweetened it with a little bit of honey. Um, you can put some vanilla in there, make a classic creme chantilly if you wanted to. And I'm going to put the, as I say, the jam, the cream and some blueberries and make it all really, really tasty. But first of all, I need to just slice the cake in half. Um, all I'm going to do is with a serrated knife, just very, very carefully, Try and get all the way through the middle, as even as you can. And the base I'm just going to pop onto my serving plate. Then I've just got some raspberry jam here that you can find in any shop, supermarket. Probably have in your cupboard or your fridge. Plenty of that on. Then I've just whipped some whipping cream, plenty of that on. You don't need to be too neat about it. And now, finally, I'm just going to, I've just washed some blueberries, I'm just going to pop them on. You can put any fruit in if you wanted, some fresh strawberries, raspberries. I'm just using blueberries as I've got them. And that there is my finished Victoria sponge, the jam, cream and some fresh blueberries.